What is up, people? I watched a lot of American TV shows, I watched a lot of other types of content, and I want to go to America. But not just to visit it, no, to stay there, because it's the land of the free. The land where your dreams become reality. So today, I want to test if I could become a US citizen by doing this US citizenship test. It's a practice test. But, you know, if I can do this, I could essentially just become a US citizen. All of my knowledge that I'm gonna show to you today is based based on Rick and Morty, Scrubs, uh, other US TV shows and YouTube. In the case that I make it, that's cool. I'm a technically a United States citizen, hip hip hooray. But if I don't make it to stay in Europe, I have to be more fit. And as a punishment, I'll have to do one whole stage in ring fit in the most extreme difficulty. Okay, so let's start. First question, what territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Well, so, I mean, isn't Quebec a part of Canada? Did Canada even exist back then? Alaska was from Russians, I think. Hawaii, I doubt it. And I have no idea what this means. I just gonna go with Quebec, you know? Ah, fuck. Next question. So who was the first president? Look, I don't, I don't even understand why I'm getting so nervous. I'm not American. I'm not supposed to know this. John Adams, Abraham Lincoln. I don't think Lincoln was one of the first. I know them because they're famous. Or is it John Adams? <laughs> Damn it. I thought it was going to be, again, the least, you know, guessed one. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Congress shall make. We the colonists. We the British. Isn't it we the people? The self as in the people. Okay, can't overthink. Don't overthink. That's the main thing. What is the name of the national anthem? Oh, f I think it's the Star Spangled Banner, right? God bless the USA. I'm, I'm pretty sure this. I've heard this said everywhere else, and I don't know any of the other ones. Let's go! Yes! 50-50. Why did the colonists fight the British? All of these answers. I mean, yeah, all of these. Easy. What are the two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote? Wait, two ways. They vote and join a civic group. What is a civic group? Give an elected official your opinion uh, on an issue and join a community group. So I'm guessing all of these answers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Under our constitution, our constitution, what is one power of the federal government? Look, can I look up the definitions of words? No? The f I don't know what federal means. <laughs> to provide schooling and education. So it would be either protection or the last one. But I would say schooling is also under government. Unless I don't know the definition of government. Yeah, fuck. Oh. Declare war? The federal government is the whole country. Okay, that, that's what I wanted to know what federal meant. I'm still 50-50. Hopefully 51% is a pass. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Adopted? So July 4th, wait. July 4th is the Freedom Day. Is Independence Day the same day when they also adopted it? Okay, I can't overthink. So it's gonna be July 4th. Uh, I wanna say this. I just felt like ending with 7 6 was correct. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? So not so at least west. Uh, so not the Arctic, not the southern. Okay, so Atlantic or Pacific? Or is it the Pacific? No, Pacific is on the left. Yes! Yes! What do we show loyalty to when we say Pledge of Allegiance? The United States? The President? The state where you live? Congress? Bruh! Okay, so I don't think it's the Congress. When everybody says, I pledge allegiance, to the United States of America, and that's like the next sentence, isn't it? Now nah, I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling. And my gut is right. What did the Declaration of Independence to do? Declared our independence from France. France? My gut feeling, or like the logical thought would be, a Declaration of Independence declared the independence from Great Britain. So I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> All right, that's, that's easy. What is the rule of law? Aren't they the same thing? Isn't the law a rule already? It's it's like, what is the law of law? What is the rule of rule? Everyone but the president must follow the law. Uh, all laws must be the same in every state. That's not true. Everyone must follow the law. Is, isn't that like the definition of law? Is, isn't that just a thing you do? Do I gut feeling or recency bias? Ah, f damn it. We elect a US representative for how many years? Four years. What? Our oh, representative is a layer below the president. Uh, I think. Shit. Okay. Whoops. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? I want to say either Nancy or Chuck. Now let's go with the gut feeling. All right. Three more questions. Let's see if we can get this bread. Name one branch or part of the government. Branch or part of the government. State government? Congress? That sounded like a thing. I want to say more about why I didn't pick the other stuff. 
but I feel like my reasons for not picking other stuff would be too dumb to put into like the World Wide Web. <laughs> One reason colonists came to America. Land. Freedom. Because they were kicked out of Britain, weren't they? Like people that Britain didn't want? To join a civic group? I don't think so. Could it be freedom? I feel like it's freedom or none of these answers. Uh, fine. Fine. Let's go. In. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans? Am I dumb? Good job, you answered 13 of 20 questions correctly. My score, 65. Would I have passed? 60%? No, I made it! The test is prepared in English and the candidate must score at least 60% for a successful pass. It's 65! I passed! I could become an American! Yes! Should I... Should I try a Canadian citizenship test? That, oh no, that's actually in French. Okay, so this isn't the official one, but I think I found something. There are 25 questions in the Canadian citizenship test. Can I make any of these? So which animal is the national symbol of Canada? I want to say beaver. I don't know which of these is beaver. Le cougar. Uh, is this cougar? I'm gonna go with A. Ah, shit. Okay, what are the three branches of Canadian government? Senate? Shit, it's last one. Uh, what region of Canada is called land of the sun something of the of the little sun i would go with like north yes i got one right i guess spaghetti croissant oui. omelette du fromage what is the importance of hockey of course they need to have hockey in one of the questions it's the natural sport of uh winter canada got a medal in junior olympics in 2008 all of these responses are that's a sport that is the most popular in canada and also a national winter sport i'd go with all of the above Ah, oh, Okun means none. I'm so dumb. No, I, I had it. I had it. Okay. Uh, now I hit a roadblock. I don't understand what this question means anymore. I'm just gonna go... Yep. Yeah. Which of the... I don't know. I'm gonna say Christian for some reason. And it's correct. Hell yeah. Why are you doing this to me, Mifotail? Fine, let's put timer on. I can't say the word Canada for five minutes. Or have to do push-ups. Why am I doing this for fun? I don't know, chat wanted me to. I... I did the American citizenship test. And passed it, and then people were like, oh yeah. There's also the... this one. Did I say the word? Act of Quebec in 1774. Uh, province of Quebec divided uh, the C word in half. The tolerance of C. Uh, the birth of C. I mean, 7074 is pretty early on, so I would bet on the birth of uh, the glorious land up north. I'm just gonna go with the easy one. Ooh! Canada, Canada, Canada! I can f***ing say it. Yes! What was the result of the suffrage movement? Doesn't suffrage mean the right to vote? So the women got the right to vote. So I'm gonna go with this one. And it was correct. Which is the most biggest distinction or an honor a Canadian can receive? Coronation? I know it's a thing in the UK where they, the queen hits you with a sword and then you become a sir. I, I want to say peace. Order of peace. Ah, shit, no. It's the cross of Victoria. And last question. Who governs Canada with a with a new federal... I, I, what? A prime minister... Ping? Wait, what? That's the same answer. This is definitely not the right answer. It's... What? Le Premier Minister? Le Premier Minister? This was the same thing. I scored 11 questions out of 25. My score is 44% and I spent less than half an hour. So I technically, I was within time. Then again, I did do it in French. Which means I probably could have passed it in English. I'm pretty satisfied with my answers. I could become an American citizen. Though I couldn't become a French-speaking... <sighs> Canadian citizen, which is kind of sad, but understandable, you know? Either way, if you like this video, drop a subscribe, follow me on Twitch, I stream 